In this video, I want to show you an example of how to calculate the revenue variance. So the revenue variance is the difference between the actual revenue and then the revenue per the flexible budget. So let's say we've got a company that does consulting projects and we've got our static planning budget. That's what we came up with at the beginning of the period. Here's what we thought the sales revenue was going to be and so forth. But then we go and find that we actually have 130 consulting projects, whereas when we made the planning budget, we thought there was going to be 100 projects. So if we end up with 130 projects and we thought there was going to be 100, we should have more revenue than what we had originally planned. So this 250,000 that was in the original static planning budget, we should have more revenue than that because we had 30 more consulting projects than what we thought we were going to have, okay? So we make our flexible budget and we say, okay, based on the flexible budget, our revenue should have been, given that we had 130 consulting projects, it should have been $325,000. Okay, and I've got another video showing you how to put together the flexible budget if you haven't seen that before. So now this is what our revenue should have been given that we had 130 consulting projects. Now we look at the actual results, which of course has 130 consulting projects, that's not different, but the revenue is $318,000. Now, if you were to compare that 318 to the static planning budget, you would think, oh, we did a good job. We had 68,000 more in revenue than what we thought. And yes, it's great that we, but that's because we have more consulting projects than what we had thought. It's great that we had 30 more consulting projects. We did a great job getting clients, but given that we had 130 consulting projects, we should have had sales revenue of 325,000, and yet we only had 318,000, okay? So we're gonna have a variance here. We're gonna have a variance of $7,000. That's the difference between the actual and the flexible budget for our revenue. It's $7,000 difference. Now, notice that we should have hit 325, but we only hit 318. So we're 7,000 short of where we should have been. So I'll put a little U there to indicate that that is an unfavorable variance. Again, we're happy that we had 130 projects instead of 100. That's wonderful. But given that we had 130 projects instead of 100, we should have hit a target of 325,000 in revenue and we actually hit 318. Why did that happen? Who knows? Maybe we gave a price discount to some of our customers in order to get those extra projects. That's something we should look into, but the key is that we would have a revenue variance here. We would have a revenue variance of 7,000 unfavorable.